Hey, were the uh, Canadian uh, wildfires, at least some of them, were they purposeful? Uh, share this video, the link that I'm going to to put in the description box. It's, uh, I don't feel well on this. Um, JK Kidney Stone. I saw this video uh, probably about two months ago, the first time I heard about it. It's by, uh, it's by a YouTube channel called Dutch Sins, D-U-T-C-H-S-I-N-S-E. And this person, um, I guess this, what this person does he, is he reads like uh, real-time um, satellite imagery for weather, for fires, for, I don't know, anything like volcanoes, tornadoes, all that type of stuff. And I saw this video, and yes, this, this has to be real. I mean, that's what this guy does for his channel. He's got like 700,000 subscribers. Doesn't make it, that doesn't make it real, right? But uh, watch this video. This is, um, this is where the Quebec wildfires, which are pretty big. I don't know if they're still going. I live in Ontario. Were they, were they purposeful? And so I want you to share this video because it bothers me um, that you got to see the proof in this video. I'm going to describe it uh, and then uh, then click on the link in the description box. So what he shows is the day that a whole bunch of fires started and um, it shows it as a clear sky day. There are clouds but they're you know quite a bit away from from where the fire started and I'm surprised that no one is talking about this because because if you ask me wouldn't this be proof of, of them you know their origins their the very nucleus of how, how the Quebec one started anyways so with a satellite just like a video camera you know that you have like a ring camera you know that records or, or a dash camera something like that you know they're always running so the satellite imagery is always running so what you can do is you can take it and you can go I have difficulty speaking pardon me you can go forwards and backwards forwards and backwards and you can go many hours ahead and many hours back so so what it shows is a clear sky day and I don't know how far each fire is apart but they have to be at least dozens of kilometers apart from each other because Quebec and Ontario are quite big um, and so it shows just spontaneously about I'm guessing you can count yourself I think there's about 25 fires and they happen all at the same time and so here it is here's the data here's the proof and uh, so take a look at it. I think it's at about uh, the best images at about three minutes in. And uh, it's, it's hard not to look at this and, and want to share this. Um, I believe and uh, we're, you know, I, I believe we're in the last days. That's what I think. And, uh, you know, I believe Jesus, Jesus is Lord. And uh, I've read scripture. I've read both the Old and New Testament, and I know the signs we're supposed to be looking for. And it doesn't say um, in Scripture, I don't mean to bring Scripture into this, but, you know, it says that there will be pestilences, earthquakes and stuff. And, uh, you know, like things like tornadoes and fires are pestilence. They're pestilence. And uh, it doesn't say, God doesn't say who's, who's causing the pestilence. But uh, as you can see, there's wildfires starting all over the place and when you look at Hawaii you look at Maui it's hard not to want to share this take a look at it for yourself you tell me what you think about this when I look at this it's quite obvious that something started this I don't know um, I don't think anything anything you know it can't be campers it just can't be how could it be campers it'd be like 25 campers each you know 10 kilometers away from each other spontaneously and I think what he says in the video or in another one is that if you see smoke in a satellite image that means that it has to be big 
So take a look at it um, and uh, judge for yourself. These just start spontaneously. The only thing that could do that is someone lighting a fire, someone going and um, setting an incendiary device on a timer. And, uh, and the other part that I, that I, I used to study war and uh, you know I paid a lot attention to a lot of you know war tactics and if people like George Soros people who want to push uh, climate change it wouldn't take much money to get someone to go out into the Canadian wilderness and go around and set fires it just wouldn't right it's like one of the you know a child can go and do that and they'll never know because there's such vast territory and uh, anyways so I'm going to share this and I heard today that in in BC p picture this uh, a fire traveling 20 kilometers in a single day and what this person said was uh, this was Canadian prepper he said how many people can jog that far in one day right so you can just imagine how fast that is traveling so anyways the uh, the person is Dutch since D U T C H S I N S E look at this uh, and tell me what you think my opinion is that it looks purposeful and I have no idea what really did it why is no one talking about this I didn't hear anyone in Canada mention this at all and so that that bothers me